Hello, uh, this is James O'Keefe, captain of the Massachusetts Pirate Party. Um, I'm joined today currently at this member meeting uh, by Steve and Eli. Uh, please say hi. Good evening, this is Steve Revelock from Arlington, Massachusetts. Hi, I'm Eli of Lemonster, Massachusetts. Thanks. And I'm from Somerville, Massachusetts. Um, I know Joe said, unfortunately, he wouldn't be able to make it. Um, just want to point out that uh, in the last election for which he ran uh, early in November, he got 22% of the vote, which is the highest of any pirate running in a, in a, a partisan race, certainly a statewide race. Um, of any of the candidates we've run and maybe even the US. Um, overall, he did pretty well for third parties, I think, too. So with that, uh, is there anything to add to this agenda? No, no additions. Nothing here. All right. Uh, so for reports, um, the uh, website is all, all the software there is up to date. Um, everything's backed up. Um, we posted about Joe's campaign and the upcoming conference on January 25th. Um, That's all the reports that I have. Any others? Nothing here. Nothing here. Uh, thanks. And and thank you, Eli, for putting together the um, uh, press release about Joe's campaign. I, I sent that off to Joe so he can look it over. Um, any updates for the US Pirate Party? I, I saw that they... Uh, have started a periodic podcasting uh, thing on their YouTube channel? Uh, I actually haven't been too involved with that, and so I can't exactly say like when and what days it's going to be. I, I know I probably should, so I'll get on that. Um, other than that... the I believe it's the National Conference is in the very beginnings of being planned. Cool. Uh, speaking of conferences, so our winter conference is coming up, as I said earlier, on Saturday, January 25th. Um, so to give people time, um, it would be good to pick a location. Uh, some of the places we've looked at um, where our kind of criterias are near public transit with free parking, wheelchair accessible, seats enough people, um, has the amenities that we need. Um, uh, I was, I was giving blood at, uh, the Armory cafes at, at the Armory in Somerville. So I asked them about renting space there. And uh, mm -hmm. I added that to the beginning there. <clears throat> it's $200 for four hours minus the cost of any food purchased in the cafe. Um, has a lot of the qualities that we were looking for, including good Wi-Fi, projector, bathroom. Seats 52, which is probably good for our needs. Um, but there's some other places as well. Um, so I have a, an initial question. Yeah. How long of an event do you think we would put, would we put on a four hour event or would it more likely be a two hour event? So the last one we were limited to roughly four hours, I think from like 830 to 1230 because we were at the Somerville Public Library West Branch. Um, and they closed at 12.30 on a Saturday. Okay. So in in the past, you know, we've had 
things last for you know eight hours mm -hmm. right. Um, right so we could go that long um but my guess would be it would be at least four hours and then you know we'd have to see um i mean we have enough money to cover it for eight hours even if no food is purchased uh if we were to say go to the uh the armory cafe uh um, so, yeah. in in that case i would say let's book four hours at the uh at the armory that's i mean do we want to do four or do we want to do longer for like setup and takedown and stuff like that all right maybe maybe five then whereas um you know we do have to work out a, an agenda <laughs> and uh locate okay. speakers and stuff yeah right um yeah plus there's like <clears throat> half an hour to set up and half an hour to take down mm -hmm. Although I don't know if that's considered part of that, but um, I mean, I thought, you know, we, we use that space um, back in, I think, 2016. Um, yeah, for Aaron's campaign. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I mean, it was a nice setup. Space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, I don't know, I, I like that it has pretty much all of the things that we want. The one thing that I am concerned about is um, if if we want to have one where we encourage people to mask and uh, then it would certainly, being that it's January, um, mm -hmm. discouraging people from food from purchasing food um while in our pecuniary interest <laughs> it's not necessarily in everybody's health interest so um well, but you know we could we could pay for that if it's like six hours you know we we could do three hundred dollars and that's that's fine so. yeah there's um i mean as far as food goes if you know the policy is masks you know masks except when you're eating or drinking uh, i i think that would be a reasonable compromise Okay. Uh, so, I mean, of of these listed here, uh, what do you think, Eli? Uh, you guys, or being totally honest, you guys have been in in this in this field longer than I have, so I'll trust your guys' judgment for it better than mine. Uh, and it's so it sounds like was it the cafe, if I'm remembering right? was probably yeah, the better option I, I think that's the one that has like the most qualities that we want like it you know like if i we looked at like the somerville kennedy school the library is nice um but it would require a lot of rearrangement if you wanted to set up chairs it's a lot of tables and it's not near the entrance which means that people would have to like wander through it's at least like if you come in the entrance, it's at least a floor up. So um, I, and I feel like this is, you know, the entrance is right on the sidewalk. Basically, you go in and then you immediately turn left. It's it's just so easy to enter um, that no, I think they, it just has a lot of good qualities to it. Yeah. And they do have a sound system. So, you know, right. uh, mic, microphone and speakers, that's always helpful. Right. All right, do we want to send in a request to them and, and go with Rooted Armory Cafe in Somerville? I'm in favor. I'm also in favor. Great. I'll send off a request to them, uh, you know, by tomorrow and uh, try to lock in that date then. Um, before, yeah. and before we leave this topic... Um, right. You know, just because January 25th isn't that far away, uh, can we choose an alternate location in case they are booked? Uh, well, maybe we'll maybe we could go see. They think they have their calendar up.
Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I see what's. Maybe not. All right. Um, yeah, let's. Let, we can choose another location. So yeah, my second one um, would be the Cambridge Community Center. I don't believe they have a sound system, or at least I don't believe they did the last time I had an event there, but. Um, it's a decent space. Um, Actually, I take that back. Did they or did they not? I can't remember. Yeah, I don't. I I didn't participate in any of the the discussions there. I mean, I it, it, I didn't go to any of the presentations or anything. Um, oh, okay. Like, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I was thinking of a different place in Cambridge, but this is the same place that the book fair was. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Energy. I mean, it was, it was a nice location, although I'm concerned, like, it's hard to get into, uh, like, I don't know how you would enter if you were in a wheel. I forget, was, was there a ramp on the other side? So there is a ramp indoors. Right. Uh, I don't know about one on the uh, on the exterior of the building. I don't remember. Okay. Um, yeah, it also seemed expensive, but. Um... Oh, 70 an hour. OK, yeah, yeah. I mean, the Somerville's Kennedy School was very near public transit. It's in Porter Square, right in the red mm -hmm. line. It has ample parking because there's a parking lot right there or the street behind. Uh, the only downside is the layout isn't great and the library is not close to the entrance. Um, Which isn't, I mean, we'll need to bring like a, a roll of masking tape some, and some markers and put signs all over the place. That's not right. a big deal. Uh, but it's in the same price range as the cafe. Um, I mean that that sounds like a that sounds like a fine uh, option B if the uh, if the cafe doesn't come through. Okay, and it may be that um, I you know I, I we can contact them. Maybe there's like a room or something, or like the cafeteria is is on forget how much the cafeteria was uh, yeah. oh wait yeah also the liability insurance <laughs> it's hmm i don't know <laughs> um yeah, and there's a custodial fee and stuff like that. So, like, go to the... Yeah, so, I mean, maybe the cafeteria instead of the library. I feel like we'd have to bring all the projector and sound mm. system and everything. Um, but we could do that as a fallback. Does that sound reasonable? Yep. All right. All in favor of those two choices in that priority order? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, I will. I'll email the cafe and um, tonight and get that done. So hopefully by tomorrow, I'll hear back from them. Um, so, uh, Steve, could you put together a shared document so we can plan out the conference? Uh, I can needed, do that. Who's doing what and all that? 
a, pi a pirate pad or something. We'll do that. Thanks, Steve. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so for the video newsletter podcast uh, for Pirate News, I should be named that Pirate News. Um, is Sunday, is this Sunday evening good? Yep. Well, I won't be able to make it on Sunday, but yeah. Sorry, say that again? Oh, uh, I won't be able to make this Sunday. Okay. Well, hopefully the f next Sunday. Thanks for the update. So for voter outreach, um, I will send that out this week. Um, we'll need to see about following up with um, municipalities. Um, and then I kind of put this together as, as an objective that once we get the voters or maybe as we, <clears throat> um, as we get the voter lists in, we can do snail mailings to people telling them about the conference, officer elections, municipal elections, other events, and, and donate, join mailing lists, things like that. Does that a, sound like a good plan? Anything mm -hmm. else we should add to this? All right, and then for local campaigns, we've got the same set of stuff. Um, we just need to know the dates so that we can kind of plan it out, um, which hopefully we'll get from the this step. Uh, and that's that's it for now. Anything else? Nothing here. Nothing for me. All right, great. Um, so do you want to plan to meet on the 21st or the 5th? Because I know we can't meet on Thanksgiving. Or so I, will, I will not be able to meet uh, to make it on the 21st. So my All vote right. would be for the fifth, but okay. you could always meet. You could, we could do. You could meet. We could meet both, and I'll just won't be able to make one of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just. You know, that would you know, having to meet next week would allow us to give status of of these. Um, with yes, we're doing this here, and yes, we're this is where we are here. Even if it's a short meeting, it's still useful to keep keep us honest. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Well, I uh, I am I am fine. I have no objections to the twenty first. That work for you, Eli? Uh, yeah. All right. So twenty first followed up by the fifth. Okay. Um, and then. The fifth, so the fifth will put us um, at least six weeks before the conference. And then, so this week, uh, so before our meeting, we need to have like sign up registration forms and uh, speaker forms and, and all that other stuff. All right. Okay, well, if there's nothing more, um, shall we adjourn? So moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And I say aye. All right, thank you, uh, the two of you. Uh, hope you have a wonderful weekend, and thanks to folks watching this. We hope you found it informative. You too can join us on generally alternating Thursdays 
at 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. Uh, just check the sidebar at masspirates.org. Um, and with that, thank you very much, and I shall stop the recording. Bye.